wasteland. They didn't even have time to defend themselves. Death is such a distant concept in our lives, isn't it? Killing each other for sport? No problem. We respond. Got killed breaking the law by the VAC? No problem. We respond. But in prison... Got killed by something that just ignores respawn? No one's ready for that. No one. There's a resupply cabinet there if you need it. Yes, please. It's charging now. Five minutes, give or take. Okay, sweet. What do we do now? We wait. So, uh, about you guys. How long have you, you know, had those tents of yours? I always had trash with me for as long as I can remember. Kia? That's classified. What's wrong with the little ice breaking? You two are probably the only people that have something in common with me ever since I, uh, became this. You became what you are. Yeah. How so? I wasn't born this way. I've always been like the rest of the Pyros. I've been in fragging duty, scrapping duty,
contracts, you name it. Ever since... I, I don't know, like... I had that fever dream. I woke up with a massive headache. Some random day, I guess. And I just woke up like this. My body was completely changed. I wasn't feeling sick. Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. It, it just felt normal. As if I've always been this way. And that's the first time I saw her. I never met her in my life. And again, it felt like I've... It felt like I've always known her. <sighs> From that point on, things started to change for the worse. Ever since the transformation, she's always been with me, even in matches. Everyone started to be suspicious of me because of her. They couldn't see her, but whenever I was fighting or doing the objective, she was there. Before I even raised my gun to kill people, she had already killed them before me. In moments where I should have died, she stopped that from happening. I even had the advantage in objectives. I could capture control points and push the payload as if I were two people. She was there, helping me. In their eyes, I was cheating, since they couldn't see her. I tried to explain myself, but it was useless. I started to get banned on several servers because of that. It came to a point where I just gave up trying fracking duty altogether. I didn't know what to do. I had no control over it. All I had left was scrapping duty. They tolerate all kinds of folk, to some extent. As long as you're killing robots, we don't care how you do it, I guess. Fast forward some time, like a month or two, I've learned to control switcheroo and discovered her ability. And here we are, stuck in a hellhole with horrors crawling around and two guys that I can finally relate to. <laughs> Talk about destiny, huh? Quite likely. There's a hypothesis that stands themselves are drawn to each other. Either by destiny, or because they all share the same anomalous properties. As if they were all but one entity. A symbiotic connection. Eh, I'm gonna go with destiny. However, this is a fact that was proven to be correct. When a mercenary obtains a stand, their bodies become anomalous as a reaction. Effects can range depending on the mercenary. There are no exceptions to this rule. It's likely you became what you are because of your stand. <laughs> okay, so we're like... superheroes? <laughs> Maybe. The power is back on, but communications are still down. Let's move. Thank you for sharing your story, Smoke. Yeah. Are you still banned? It's been a while since I last checked. I've been in tours of duty all the time now. Come on! We got one last place to go. Mr. Spot. It was good effort. What the hell? Are those spies? 
Are they worshipping the satellite dish? No, they're jamming all communications. This is why no one found out about the derelict. They made sure nothing would get in or out of here. Terrific. I guess we have to kill them all? Yes. What's the plan then, Chief? Wimmers by themselves are completely harmless. They function like living jammers. They don't react to their environment. They're puppets controlled by those glowing saplings. If we dispatch all of them, communications should be safe for reboot. It cannot be this easy. Fair point. Smoke, you and I have stands with range, so we should be able to scout ahead with them. Do you know how to do it? Yeah, I think so. Just gotta put my mind through Switch's eyes, right? More or less. Just remember, the further the stands are from us, the weaker they'll be. So don't risk attacking someone. You know the drill. I found a sniper hiding over there with one of those vials. He's aiming and waiting for a target, while the doctor is waiting for a rush. It's definitely an ambush. Likewise over there. We need to go in there and check on the satellite status once we're done with the Wimmers. Well, well, well. Clever bastard. Fandom. We can't let them destroy the satellite as a last ditch effort. I got an idea, but I'm gonna need your help to speed us up. They've set up an elaborate trap for us. I know. They have tried and failed. <laughs> they sure have. Hey, Sorry, has been Yeah, we don't That was a close call. Great work, Smoke. You're welcome. Satellites in good condition. Let's take those Wimmers down. Do we just kill them off one by one? Let's not waste any time. American myth! That's a cool party trick. Yeah? No more static on the radio. Excellent. First step is done. Now on to the second.
figured you three were trouble the moment you stepped in my server. Especially you in particular. This server's not yours. Nothing belongs to you. I'm sure you already know what you're doing here is futile. The train will be leaving soon enough. By the time you take back one server, we control three more. Even if we cannot stop you, we will delay you from spreading. That is our plan. A noble effort, son. However, it is a shame to see such capable fighters and their potential squandered. You're misguided in fighting for a lie. But do not worry. We will open your eyes. Over my dead body. That is what they all said.
did he did he break the shield smoke he broke the shield shoot the walker it's vulnerable American myth get out here This is not a game of fun. Do you know what would happen if you got caught by that flesh? You would be dead. You would never come back. No respawning. Nothing. Once those things get you, it's over. You will be nothing but a puppet. We are all one mistake away from dying. Those damn aliens will do their best to make you do a mistake. They are built for war, Heavy. For war! This is not a playground. This is a fight for survival! Kia. You need to wake up and realize the situation you're in. If we are to work together, you need to understand the stakes. That's enough. Get that through your thick-headed skull! Take this miracle as a premonition! Enough! <sighs> he made a mistake. So what? We all make mistakes. At the end of it, he kicked their sorry asses to the dirt. Just move on. You can't turn back the clock. I want to make sure he learns from his mistakes. That's it. Because if this happens again, I'll have to put a bullet in his head. These things cannot get a hold of stand users. Let's make sure that doesn't happen. Looks like they stopped. Take five. Relax a little. What about the walker thing? They're opportunists. They won't attack us head on. Hey. You okay, big guy? I don't know what you did, but it must have taken a toll on you. It spoke to me. What? I fear. No man, but when the thing said my name, I, I was afraid. It sounded so unnatural, as if it was mocking me. I feared for my life. I reckon we're done with this side of the map now. Man, I didn't knew people fought each other and made, you know, such a mess. It's, uh, quite shocking. <laughs> it's a good thing it's not Halloween yet, then, lad. The whole maps get painted in red from all the skeletons, headless horsemen, demons, and freaks. I thought those were all just on TV. Nonsense, mate. I mean... In a normal place, in a normal universe, sure. But it's all real here. You know anything about this? Wow. I... yeah. I guess having a normal life just makes you miss out on the wacky stuff. Not if you go looking for it, lad. You could try it out, maybe. You mean fragging duty? Nah, man. That ain't my style. Maybe it's your style. You're quite the enigma, lad. You look the type, but 
Orip the type. Terj, come on. Let's shut our mouths with some dining. Yeah, I'm starving. You boys haven't been in a lunch break yet, have you? Not just yet. <laughs> Watch this, mate. What? Give it a second. Attention employees. The lunch hour begins. Please ensure an orderly environment before leaving the designated location. Today's lunch item is... Sandwich. You can freaking talk, Molly! Only when doing announcements or the odd event. Much like Jumpsuit, she doesn't talk much. Fair enough. But is she sentient, though? Beats me, mate. Not the clue. Whoa. It's nice, ain't it? Don't have to worry about walking all the way to the door, through the locker room, back to the servers to find somewhere to eat. Yeah! I'll say it again. I really wish I could buy one of these for us. Who wouldn't? Why'd it have to be bloody sandwiches again? What, is this all you eat here? No, thank God. There's different menus each day. Huh? I bloody love Burger Day. Those burgers are something else, I tell ya. Could be better, though. So, mates, what are your stories? What got two blokes like yourselves in a place like this? Well, it wasn't necessarily our choice. But the job's great, though. We both like it. Right, bud? What about you guys? This ain't my main gig. I got two jobs. This one's more of a side job. My main one is fishing, but it's not exactly well seen in the law. You, uh, do illegal fishing? Yes and no. To the law, sure. But to everyone else... They keep their mouths shut because we bring in the good stuff that can make some fantastic dishes. Me and a couple of other Aussies go out really far and catch some exotic stuff. Brings in the money to pay the bills. Sounds pretty dangerous. If we go on Australian service, of course. It's Australia. But that is where the best is. What about you, Turch? I had to ditch me other job before I'd lose me head. This job's enough for me. Figuratively speaking, right? I hope so too, but I don't think they were joking. I was a construction worker doing private work for a couple of rich folk. Property owners. You know the kind. It was the same old thing. Get the call, go to the spot, learn about the terrain, plan the thing, and then we start building the house. But one day, we scored big. We were going to be given a really pretty penny for building a bloody resort. <laughs> Nice! It sounded like we hit the jackpot. Until we found out about the location. The Badlands. The... The Badlands? You haven't heard of it? It's probably the worst bloody place in the stinking world! It's a place ruled by anarchy, filled with the worst kinds of people. Killers, psychopaths, bandits, just complete insane lunatics. It's hell. Or, well, one of them. But you know, the money was great, so we built the place. Some weeks go by, and I knew me gut was right. Something wasn't right. It felt like we were being watched, even though the place was wired up with security. I just ditched the thing. I quit me job on the spot because I knew I'd be fired if someone found out about it. I had no shame in saving me skin. No way I could trust myself in that hellhole. Days later, I see through the news that the resort was blown to smithereens. Reports suspected it to be a gas leak, but I knew what it was for sure. The bandits bloody sabotaged the resort somehow. It's well known that the bandits hate the rich. They're completely insane, but they sure as hell aren't dumb. The resort was screwed since the very beginning. Your colleagues, did they, uh, die? No bodies were found, but 
I'm sure they'd make use of them before blowing up the house. I buried the hatchet quickly, lad. It wasn't my problem. I just did my job. What about you two? Where did ye work before here? We, uh, worked on Railway United. R Railway United? Are you bloody serious? It all happened so suddenly. We were at the break room. I got myself a drink and sat near jumpsuit. Some time passes and he goes somewhere else. I... I was still there. I was, uh... Slept in. No! I was doing some work on the terminals and it just happened. The power went out, the alarms go off, and we had to evacuate. I was alone at the time. So I ran away to head to evac. And that's when... that's when I... saw the bodies. I had to fight through them. Later on, I rejoined with Jumpsuit and we fought through more of them. You fought? Against what? Freaking monsters! Monsters that took over the people of the place! Monsters? They didn't mention that on the news, did they? They talked about an outbreak, but kept it brief. The outbreak happened because of them. They just jumped in and took over people. The monsters? Yeah. Lad, the news about that were a bloody disaster. The entire company was shut down because everyone got killed, save for barely any survivors. I guess those guys... We're just... you two. A VAC guy who helped us and a few others were escorted back home safely. Are any of them your shift colleagues? I'm sorry, mate. Should have kept it to myself. There's nothing you could have done, Fixer. You're not a superhero. You can't be everywhere to help everyone. You did what you could. That would work for someone else's case. You did absolutely nothing. You have to move on, mate. You oversleeping idiot. Come on. Let's put our mind off of this. We still have some time left. Let's do a stroll around. Yeah. Let's do it. Now that I know we won't be bothered, I can tell you the plan. We're going to the server communication center so I can send a distress signal to the VAC and make sure our tracks are erased. They'll recover the server and wipe out stragglers. Understood? Understood. All right, break's over. Let's get back to work. You, uh, are, uh, are you seriously eating that with this engineer? Let her immune system for me. Yeah? Sheesh. Well, it's your toilet's funeral. Smoke, why do you use sniper weapon? You mentioned it was who you wanted to be. What do you mean with that? It's complicated. I don't like Pyro's whole shtick. It's just not my style. It doesn't help that I see a lot of brainless pyros just running around with their primaries out, getting themselves killed, and then wondering why we lost. What's your approach? I used to be more of a flanking, flare gun using puff and sting kind of pyro. I also used their blast. Anything that doesn't involve just spraying flames like some brainless dragon. Fair point. You are not the only one, Smoke. I do not use my primary weapon outside of fragging duty. Combined with crush, it makes it too easy for me to win. I am not fan of it. I am more of a brawler. Always prefer it over bullets. Is that why you don't carry the belt around you? In a way, yes. And also why you're called heavy guy without weapons? Haha. <laughs> Indeed. We need to move. Please don't tell me that's... Oh, shit. I completely forgot about... Crap. 
I'm very sorry. Uh, j just let me take this, please. Uh, sorry. <sighs> Hello? Smoke, where are you? I'm... Th there's been a problem. What? What happened? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Just in a... an awkward situation here. Smoke, what happened? There's been a problem with the train I took. I... <sighs> Smoke, I know that tone too well. Did you get in trouble again? No, Cindy! There's just been a problem with the train route I took. I just took the train I do all the time, you know? Route 31, close enough for my home. I took it, came to a stop on some checkpoint or whatever. Security showed up and told us to step out. And then we- Smoke, I know you're pissed. I can pretty much feel the heat coming out of the phone, you know? I'm sure you have a good reason to be upset. But let's slow it down a little, okay? <sighs> I just feel like today's been a shitty day for me. Crap luck all around. You've been through worse. True. Did a fight break out? Uh... The server had a power malfunction. I'm stuck in this checkpoint until they can fix it. Mm. That's bad. Yes. Yes, it is. So, guess you're not gonna make it here today, then? Yeah, no. I'm gonna be here for a while. Crap. Cindy, you're saying that as if you've never carried matches before? That's a normal Tuesday. You should have slept in my place. Next time. I promise. <laughs> Next time. Go get him, Tiger. I believe in you. I'll do my best. I love you. I love you too. Hothead. <laughs> you ready to fight, ma'am? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's get this party started. Let's kick some shiny metal ass! <laughs> I'm ready! Let's see some sparks flying. The first wave of robots is upon us. What? Friend of yours? More or less. Her name's Cinder. She's my girlfriend. I was meant to go on a tour of duty with her today. I met her a long time ago before I changed into this. You two are still happy, right? Oh yeah, 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 no doubt about it. She actually switched sides faster than an auto balance. <laughs> let's just move on and let's just get the hell out of this shit off, please.
that monster was powerful. I don't know if I would ever recover from one of its punches. That was a bruiser. A hulking, adrenaline-fueled mass of destruction. You already know the rest. If we don't burn the body, it will come back from the dead. You can do the honors. Okay. It was a great opponent. I grow stronger. Body and soul. I cannot wait to have my throne and lay down in bed. We're nearly there. One last push. Notice how there's barely anyone left. I realize this. It's strange to see it this empty. I noticed that after the VAC and the big dude. Their numbers are dwindling. Even so, eyes and ears open. get you back to the resupply no camp. Need. I'm fine. I managed to switch the arrow's damage with healing. Can't use this now. Smoke, you need to be more careful. What did I just say? What did I just say about being cautious? I know, man. I know. Get off my back. Lesson learned. <sighs> Never gonna get used to that. Nothing. Excellent. We've exhausted their numbers. <laughs> Distress signal has been sent. Lady and gentlemen, it's done. We can finally leave. Yeah! Hell yeah! It's about time! <laughs> now, we have to clear the checkpoint. Not a problem. I've been looking forward to give that engineer a piece of my mind. Guess I underestimated you. The backbone's secured now. Good. The passengers are gone. We're too late. Yeah, it's a family. It's a we. Forever? Once they're distorted, it's over for them. There's no cure, no tricks. 
No respawning. No design flaws. <laughs> there has to be a way. It can just... be... be like that. Smoke. I wish I was lying to you. It's normal to be afraid. It's just like you said, death is a distant concept in our lives. Until it hits you. You don't want this to happen to your loved ones, right? You want to live a happy life with Cinder. You want to protect her. This is how Heavy Guy and I protect all of you. Us stand users have an advantage. We can be the ace in the hole and turn the tide in our favor. I have a plan to stop this, but I need capable people like you. However, the choice is in your hands. If we get out of here alive, you can leave freely. We won't stop you. Think it over. The growth you felt after killing the Bruiser. The fear you felt when you heard your name. The luck you had when you escaped death. Learn those feelings and use them. I understand the stakes now. You're learning the consequences of our endeavors. There will always be casualties in the art of war. All miracles require sacrifice. I will make sure they were not in vain. anytime soon. It is a big one. There are worse things for sure. Is that supposed to help? Yes! How comforting. Fellas, if we don't make it out of this alive, I just want to say it's been a pleasure to fight alongside you. Likewise. 
We will make it. Believe in yourself, Smoke. It does not matter if you are Pyro or not. What matters is that you believe in Smoke. <laughs> Nicely put, big man. That's true, pal. You're absolutely right about that. Times have changed. It's time to adapt. Bulwark. Extremely resistant to damage, slow movement, and a very strong healing factor. Weak against fire like all the rest. So I guess it's like an immovable object then. Okay, I got a terrible idea. Heavy, I'm gonna need you to trust me on this one, big guy. If you cannot kill that thing with Crush, we have to risk giving it a try. I don't know how long Suchiru can keep it up, but we only have one shot at this. Do you trust me? Da, I trust you. <laughs> Come to heaven! enough to make it blind? These things don't work that way! Why not? Hell if I know! At least it can't spit at us! Heavy. 
It's now or never. Damn thing is regenerating again! Go out there, get close to it, and then raise Crush's hand. I'm sorry in advance if this hurts you. Kia, cover him. Eyes sharp! They're back! Enough. Smoke! I am ready! Heavy! It's not going to last a full minute! Whatever you do, do it quick! On my first week in this world, someone close to me said something I would never forget. You can learn, you can train, you can make the effort until you drop. However, know this. Someone who works hard can never beat someone who enjoys himself. This is what I live for. Yeah! I feel like we're done with them. Yes, I am no longer feeling the tension in the air. We are safe now. Well... What do we do? The train just pissed off. There's no teleporter, travel points... We're stuck here now. I took these from the outpost. We can leave this place by car. However, it'll take a while to reach somewhere that we can drop you by. Yeah... About that... I thought about what you told me. You see, I was, uh... Waiting for the right time to ask this. My life got quite unfulfilling after a while. After the ban, all I could do was scrapping duty. Which is great, mind you. But it got stale after a while. I'll always be grateful that I met the love of my life in there. Along with some interesting friends of hers. But I digress. When I saw you two had the same thing as I do, it felt like a calling. Like something was just telling me, this is it. This is what you wanted. I, I felt so lonely. I'm sure you guys felt this way too before you met each other, right? I had also bet that you two know a lot more about stands. I want to know more about Switch. Learn more along the way. Grow and improve myself. You still have not told us what you wanted to ask, Smoke. Oh, right, right, right. Got way off track here. <sighs> Can I join you? Ever since this whole mess began, I felt like I was finally seeing who I truly am. After all this time, it's like a wave of feelings just washed over me. I started to be myself. It's just what you said, Heavy. What matters is that you believe in smoke. I think I just did. For the first time. So, that being said, I would love to join you. Both of us. 
We want to make amends to all of the unfortunate victims of Switch's wrath by helping you. All of my life's troubles aside, this is a world worth fighting for. Whatever these things are, we want to help you get the hell out of our planet. We want to protect everyone. We want to protect Cinder. Well, you did already prove yourself to be a formidable ally. Rookie mistakes aside, your performance was great. You'll fit right in. I guess we nailed the interview then. <laughs> Wasn't I the one calling the shots, Kia? <laughs> yeah, it's a team effort, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn right. We are proud to have you on our team. We're honored to be aboard. Welcome aboard, kid. <laughs> My pleasure, old man. <laughs> you got this, Houston. We're rooting for you. I'll see you soon. Tia! Let's go! Yeah. yet. We gotta get out of here first. Are you sure you want to be up there, Smoke? All taken care of. Let's get the hell out of this place. Jesus. <laughs> what? Nothing. Let's go. Three passengers, all distorted. Got it. Let's get to work. Drivers down. Bravo, go. I had to. Lemo me did that. Couch me that did you it? Courses when you can just stop a goddamn train instead. You wanna try? No thanks, mate. Not a part of my job, but I'm sure the big bloke would love to join you on that. Call cleanup crew for this spot. Let's regroup at the checkpoint. Roger. Train was 
neutralized. And yes, we're fine. Thanks for asking, Bravo. Honey. Temporary server files for the latest Tom Center signal. The main server files are corrupted. Back above files are currently unknown. Good job. A loss of stage ones, some recent stage zeros, pyros, and the bulwark. Wait, those two, are they? Affirmative, the very same. I don't recognize this one. Is that a pyro with a bow? Confirmed, pyro is known as smoke, an additional anomaly. Mutation results? Body transformation. Stem user. Whoa. Full time scrapping duty. Previously fragging duty. Background. Stained. Banned on several servers. Reasons? Unknown. <laughs> of course. Your thoughts? Stand misusage. Or lack of control. Assuming lack of control. Why? Observed from the person. Said by the person. A newbie, huh? Must have been a recent add to their team. So these three took care of all this. Affirmative. It would appear so. <sighs> Call me impressed. You reckon there'll be a problem for us? I'll give my opinion once we get the backbone files. Ignore them for now. Bastards cut the power off to this area every time a new train arrived, but kept the backbone online so it wouldn't be suspicious. How the hell are they learning this? I'm guessing it's the security team. Probably stage ones. Or the walkers are learning. I'm getting really sick of these things. We all are, mate. A two-week-old derelict. In a public train station of all places. Those comebacks took over this server for two weeks and didn't slip up a single time. No mistakes, no alarms, no calls for help, nothing. Until just now. How many people did they convert from this? Do you really want to know? Rhetorical question. They're learning. Straight to the point where they can do this crap under our noses. Let's just hope they don't reach stage two. They're spreading like pests. We kill a few and a dozen are made. All the bodies. All the people who turned. Not a single thing is wasted in all of this process. It's like... It's like a factory. But you know what's the worst of all this? This can happen anywhere with a public train station. We need to warn the council. Now. All units, when you're done with the task, lock the server down. We need a thorough search for any kind of information that can help us against these bastards. What's your suggestion for the council? Reinforce security in our train stations and checkpoints. We have to slow them down. What about the citizens? The council can worry about that. My concern right now is to stop them from spreading. Bravo, get the black box from the backbone. Search and destroy. Fare you well. Cucina, no vasto nível. Te une. 